Hey, hey, and welcome to this video, my love. My name is Nina, and today we are on my just now completed island of Sushi. Sushi is a little harbor village that I initially intended for it to be like a Japanese harbor roll kind of mashup, but it turned out to not really have that many Japanese aspects, and it's just like a little suburban harbor village that also has a little roll aspect of it. So I think without further ado, let's let's open up the map. I will show you what we're working with and then we will start the tour, my love. So first things first, the elephant or the rhino in the room. We only have three villagers on this island and as you can see, we have the tent rest services. I am keeping my rest services as the tent. If you want to know how you can do that while still being able to terraform, I have a video and a website tutorial linked underneath of this video and underneath of all my builds of this island. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free to. As you can see, I also kept the map fairly simple. It seems kind of like starter-esque, even though it's a completed island. It's because I was more so having fun with the layout instead of like going crazy on the terraforming. I was just going with the flow, doing whatever I felt like doing. And that's exactly what we're working with today. So we have myself, Nina, and then we have Hornsby, Renee, and Scoot as our villagers. And I love all three of them so much i could not be happier with them at the bottom of the screen you can see the dream address if you'd like to tour along with me it will also be in the description box down below and i will probably also post a little custom map um within the next few days on my instagram account if you'd like to check that out as well and i think without further waffling on we shall get into the tour shall we <laughs> all righty so let's let's head in let's let's check out the entrance first things first we have this little entrance i don't know why i said first things first with this but we have a little harbor build it was supposed to look like you know those little harbor pool thingies where you need to go down to actually access the boats and stuff and we are kind of in the pool of the harbor like we are you know on the bottom floor and then you would need to climb up to actually access the city and explore the city so that's exactly what we're going to do today we have tons of boats all my codes are also in the description box down below and my website so yeah, there you go, my love. So entrance, we have a ton of boats. Obviously, this is going to be a big theme. We also have a ton of fish items, which I really love. And I just really like the carp cutting board. It is one of my favorite items in this game now. And I also played with dropping some shells as my dropped items on this island because I usually like to have like a couple of dropped items, even though I did keep this island a bit more simple. And then if we head up here, we have a little lookout. Um, I was initially going to fill the back of this with a lot of terraforming, but it just ended up being this field that you kind of peep in the background. We will check it out in just a second. But it's just a nice little view of, of some greenery and Scoot's little home that we're going to check out in also another second. <laughs> If I sound a bit strange, I have been grinding on this island for the past few hours and also yesterday and just the past few days. So I am ready to be touring this island, but I'm really, really happy with it nonetheless. Here we have rest services, as you can see. And as I al already said, um, we have the tent rest services. It's a cute little baby version. I I'm glad that we did it but I'm done with it now. And here, down here, we have some gifts. You will also find this cute little nooks, nook ink balloon that I uh, will drop for you right here um, in the dream address. If you wake up in a dream, you can you can pick that up right here. Um, I just thought it would, you know, work quite well with the basic flag, the starter flag that we couldn't change also. And I just really like the color of it and it might go quite well with the outfit. You will see, you will absolutely see my love. But yeah, down here, if we head to the left here, we have another bit of the harbor with just, you know, some more boats. This is kind of where the entrance was. If we sneak down here, you can see the entrance. So this was kind of just to frame it in. And I really like how this looks. We did this on stream a couple of weeks back because we only took like six weeks to complete this island. Weirdly enough, I don't know why it happened so quickly and it didn't, like it doesn't feel like it were six weeks that we spent on this island. It felt, it feels like it was way shorter than that. But you know, we're done now. So that's all that matters, doesn't it? And down here, we just have some more natural design. Uh, you can't access any of the beaches. You can technically access the left one, but there's nothing on it. So you don't have to bother. You don't have to bother going on there. And in here, we don't have anything apart from my bed and a rug. So we're not gonna go in there. I'm just not much of an interior designer, to be honest, so I just didn't want to do it. And I think that's completely fine. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. This is a game. 
that is meant to be played for fun, you know? And back here, we have a little lake view and I try to make this look as if the boats were actually on top of the water. If you kind of like pan up with your camera and the, you know, while it's panning up, you can kind of see that it's, that they are not actually on the water, obviously. But I really like the view. It looks like very open, which I really enjoy because usually I have like tons of trees behind my legs, which is also very, very pretty. Um, but I really like how this looks. And then we have Nook's Cranny and we have just this little neighborhood area. Again, this is very much not my style usually, but I really enjoyed playing with color and all these items that I usually would never put together. And I just really like the view of this lake here um, with all the wheat fields in the background. And it just looks really flat, which I kind of enjoy for some reason. I don't know. I just really like the simplicity on this. And I also don't have every single tile decorated as you can see we have only have some codes on some and we will also see some bare grass somewhere you will see in just a second because i just feel like that looks a bit more realistic than having every single bit cluttered and i try to have like some more realistic areas in this and not every single one but the upcoming ones are definitely def definitely a bit more realistic than my usual style i would say um, and down here we have some more docks now we're just gonna do a magical move and we're gonna walk on water so that we can check out this building here um, there's nothing really behind it and you can't access the beach again we just have a ton of boats and this cute little fishing shop <laughs> that is um, supposed not supposed to be but we have established that it has now run, of, run out of business because um, it's completely inaccessible for anyone so um, there we go and then we just have some more clutter here i really enjoyed decorating with this um I th what is it called i think the sloppy sink i think it's called and i love that item so much also in the ashy like brownish gray um tone it just looks so good and i feel like it really felt quite fitting for this more rundown kind of theme that we have going on and now we are entering oh shit i completely forgot to dig up our gold spot you know what this is the magic that's happening on this island this is the magic spot. This is where we draw our energy from, okay? This is what we're going to go with. You are welcome. Soak up the energies. Oh, and we're good to go. <laughs> Down here, we just have some very simple decorations. I was initially going to layer this with an actual beach towel, but it would have covered this beautiful edge that we have going on here. And I just really like how this looks in general. You could technically sit down on it and just relax by the lake, you know? And before we head through there, we have something to explore on the right. And here you can kind of see what I said, what I meant by um, we don't have every single tile decorated. Like we have some grass in between, which I really like because if you're touring this, you will hear some grass sound, which I really enjoy. And you wouldn't get that if you had like custom designs there. It kind of just sounds like you're running on plastic or anything. Yeah, I was actually going to make, make this and decorate this as well. But I kind of wanted to keep it open because it was supposed to be this run down kind of area that no one really accesses anymore. And it's just this little teen hangout spot. So I imagine there would probably be more parked cars there um, in the past. But now that no one's coming here anymore, it's just like really open kind of. And that is definitely not an excuse for me being lazy and not wanting to grab more items from Treasure Island. That is definitely not the case. Thank you. <laughs> But here we have a nice little view. If we do the little ta camera trick by going into first person mode, scrolling all the way up and then hitting the minus button twice, we also get a slightly better angle of the buildings that we have back there. As you can see, we have some buildings that we're going to check out in a second. And I just really like how this looks. It does give this like kind of outskirts of a city feel where you have like maybe some old like industrial buildings that now the teenagers... Um, have settled in then maybe come in the evenings to just you know play some card games maybe and um, do some other pg stuff that's very nice and doesn't involve any alcohol young adults but yeah before we check out this actually i think i want to go over to the right here why did i go into that rant about alcohol just then jesus christ if we head through here we have another little section where we need to climb up um, because that's another thing on this island, we don't have any inclines, obviously. We only have one bridge that isn't even accessible because we can't place any bridges or inclines on, on an island where you don't have an upgraded nook scranny. But I just wanted to make this rooftop build that overlooks a little kind of canyon, Chinese... I, I think I titled it the Chinese Mountains because I had an inspiration pick 
of a little Chinese village that was kind of settled in this valley between two mountains and I just really liked how that looked and I felt like it was the perfect spot to really utilize the pagodas because they are such a beautiful item and I would usually not know how to make them work so uh, I'm really glad that what we did with this it, it's a lot more simple like as you can see there are not many items down there because I try to keep it more um, realistic you know because if you would look down into the city you'll probably not see all those smaller bits because it's like so far below you um, but I really really enjoy this view to be honest uh, it has kind of grown on me as I was finishing it I wasn't sure but I do really like it now so that was that Stunning. So we're going to head through here again, through all the wheat fields that I have so graciously placed here. And we are now entering an area that I think I titled the Graffiti Bridge because we have a little bridge here that doesn't really, there's not really much up there. I was initially going to put some trains there, but you wouldn't really have seen them that properly because I have like so many layers of items there. And I'm also going to try to put all the cards up to the builds that I have done on this island if it allows me to link all of them. But this is one of the mo mo most recent builds and I really, really enjoy it to be honest. Like I really like all the items because they are so random and that's just my favorite style of decorating. So you don't have to be scared. They are not going to go anywhere. We are going to continue on with the trashy vibes I would say on the next island as well. But here we have a continuation of that bridge. Does it make sense that there is a river running through it? No, but maybe it's ha it has broken down. So now, you know, the river has made its way through the bridge. That's just what we're going to go with. I wish we could place the ruined arches like over a river. That would be so cool. And it would definitely also look good if you have Nox Granny and you could maybe have a stone bridge going over top of the waterfall on the upper cliff or maybe even in the lower one it doesn't really matter but I think it would kind of tie it together quite nicely just an idea you know you know if you even want to do that I don't know if anyone would want that but oh well and then if we sneak through here as we can see we are behind Nook's, gra Nook's Granny Rest services. There's also a little nook here that is like a bit more difficult to access, but I just thought oh, I would put a little bench here that you could potentially sit on and overlook the lake if we could turn the camera more properly. It's kind of just to fill a space, but I still really like how it looks, you know, just a blue little bench in there. And then we have some train tracks in here that are disappearing magically into this um, cluster of foliage to the left. So we are going to head up here i was gonna almost gonna say up this incline up this little ladder that we have set up here and now we have three different ways to go i think i'm gonna go to the right first yeah we're gonna go to the right first we're kind of going to go a bit more chronologically here um and we're gonna go to from right to left i think so we just have this little transition area. Again, kept the road a bit more open than I would usually. I would usually clutter everything up with items and like line the path with like trash or like any items basically. But I really like this more simple look. And then it opens up to this little dune bit. I know that dunes are usually covered in sand and that's like what dunes are. But I just didn't want to have sand pathing up here because it would have looked awkward with the fringes of the cliff so i kept it like green and i really like how the wheat fields look in here i also added some sheep now and i just really like how they look they are so cute and i love the sheep so much so i thought i would give them a home here if we climb down here we have horns Beast little home also none of the villager houses are redecorated because i don't have the dlc on this island obviously so he just has this little fishing themed blue little house and the on the on the beach here on the fake beach and i just really like how it looks but yeah we just have a little fake building to the right there and then to the left we just have some more fake rocks not, nothing too special we're also not going to take a too close look at the kind of cliffs that we have to the left because they do look a little bit awkward if you look too closely at them but i really like how it looks in general it, i think it kind of frames it in quite nicely and also you can't access this bridge as i've said before there's no way that you can access it i was initially going to make it accessible but it wouldn't really lead you anywhere so i just decided to keep it that way and i do really like how it looks um and now 
as we had through here, this is the second way that we could go. We have some more buildings lining this little street. And then we get to this little overlook of another harbour. And I really, really enjoy this view for some reason. This is one of my favourite views, I think, that we have on this island. Because it's just so, like, harbour-y, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, I just really enjoy all the boats there and I like how it opens up to the actual ocean, which I really enjoy. So we just have more foliage over to the right here and we can actually climb down here because I have some vines set up here. You know, you can just check out what we have down here. We just have some buildings. You could also sneak through here, but that looks absolutely hideous. So we're not going to do that. Thank you very much. <clears throat> because I might have run out of flowers. So we're going to ignore that. So uh, yeah, but so, you know, I'm just keeping it real here. Because I talk to you in chat and some of you already say that you don't finish your islands. And I just wanted to say to that that I also, like, I could have done a lot more with this island, but I was just really done with it, but I just didn't feel like decorating it any further, and I do really like how it turned out. So, this is actually another area that is kind of like that. I was going to make, like, an actual design up here, but this is just an awkward cliff. So I kind of kept it just overgrown and minimal and I do really like how it looks as you run through it and I think it is a nice transition between the more roady bits and the, <laughs> that's an actual word, thank you, and the more natural part which is going to come out. Not really natural but we have like a farming district here. It's also like kind of the same vibe but you know what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> here we have Scoot's house and um, he just has some more random decorating again. I really like how it looks though. I really like the color scheme that we have because it's just like a lot of browns with like a couple of blues here and there. And now we are actually onto the last area that we have decorated together. It's not the last that we're gonna look at today. The last that we've decorated. Um, because we actually did this on stream. And um, I, the one thing I did change was I added a pine tree back there so that as you run through here, it looks a bit more denser back there. And we just have another harbour bit, so this is basically bordering the same harbour that we see from the entrance. And we just have, you know, some clutter everywhere. Another dropped shell again, because I really like how the white ones look against the grey and stuff. They are kind of neutral and not as vibrant as the more pinky and red ones. And then here we have a little wheat field of Scoots. I imagine him to be the little farmer on this island. And um, I was initially going to fill this up completely with all the wheat fields, but I do really like how it looks just like framing it in and it does kind of feel like a path leading you to this next area. You could also look at the waterfalls there that we have. It's not nothing special, I just kind of decorated it with more natural items. I didn't really want to have any picnics or anything up there. Um, like I would do on a more cutesy island. I would usually try to decorate my cliffs with actual items and like groups of items. Um, but as we hop over this river, we just have let another one of those walkways that we saw before we headed into the teenage hangout area. You know, the rooftop view kind of thing. And we are headed into the last area on this island, which is another harbour-y bit. We just have some buildings to the left and also to the back there. Just kind of framing it in and... I really, really like how this build turned out. When I was building it, I wasn't really feeling it, but I do really enjoy how it looks. I like all the items and the colors kind of balancing out all the blues and stuff. And again, I just adore this like view. And I think I'm gonna do more of these like backwards builds because usually I would just have a cliff towards the back of the island and call it a day. Like kind of block off, oops, I just put my mic, block off the beautiful view that you get. So that's exactly what we did. And then we just have this area. Um, which is, you know, the harbour bit. Can't really access it, but this would be right next to the other harbour that we checked out. There are quite a few harbours on this island. Um, but yeah, that's actually everything that there is to explore in sushi. Yeah, I had so much fun creating this island. Again, this is very much not my usual style. It feels like kind of random. We don't really have a very clear colour scheme, I'd say. Even though we do have, you know... The yellows and blues popping up everywhere but still i just had fun with it and did whatever i felt like doing and i i really enjoyed doing that so i hope that you had a lovely time just as i had on this island and that you are just excited as i am for the next one i am not spoiling the theme you will have 
to wait until Friday probably to you know see the first build on that island. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for hanging out with me while I was creating this island of sushi. So if you did I would very very much appreciate it if you would maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already my love. We would love to see you here. We will be back on Tuesday maybe starting the new island. So I will see you then my dear. Take care of yourself until next time and bye.